Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, January 22nd. And in today's video, I just want to talk to you guys about the closet clear out promotion that Poshmark is doing. They've been doing it all weekend and it ends tonight. Um, but I just wanted to kind of explain what it is and then kind of go over some things that you can do to prepare for the next time that they have this promotion that will help you make some sales and move some of your inventory. So basically during closet clear out, um, they want you to drop the prices of the items that you have already in your closet, or you can list new items and also drop the prices of those. Um, but anyway, you, so you drop the price and everyone who has liked that item when you drop the price, they will get a notification that you have dropped the price and they will receive a discount on their shipping price. So just to clarify, the only people who will get a discount on the shipping cost of the item are the people who have liked your items. See, it says, grab the attention of every posture ever who has ever liked your items. Just lower your prices by at least 10% and they'll get an email with the price drop notification and discounted shipping. So you have to lower the price by 10% of the lowest historical price. So if you have priced something at $20, and then before closet clear out, say you discounted it to $16, and then for whatever reason, you brought the price back up to $20, and then closet clear out comes and you want to discount your item, you will have to discount it the 10% off of the $16 because that is the lowest price that the item has been priced at historically. So you would have to drop the price to $14 in order for anyone who has liked that item to receive the notification and the discounted shipping. Okay, so just for example, this is one of my listings. Let's say that I wanted to drop the price on this item for closet clear out. And that way everyone who has liked the item will receive a notification that I've discounted the item and they'll get discounted shipping. Um, so this used to be kind of a guessing game in terms of you know, if you had dropped the price before, what you needed to make the price in order to trigger the discounted shipping. Now, if we just go into, we're going to go up here, we're going to tap edit so that we can go into editing our listing. If you go down to where it says listing price, you'll see this little arrow right here. And you can actually go and tap on that arrow and it will bring up this little pop-up box. And it will show you your lowest historical price minus 10%. So my lowest historical price was the $18 that it's currently at. So it dropped it to 16%. And you're just going to go to apply price drop. See the check mark? That means that it has applied it. And then you'll go back up here to next. And I don't want to share to Twitter right now. So, and then you'll press list and it will drop the price of your item. And then you'll see down here, price dropped 11%. And so everyone who liked that item, all of these people down here, everyone who liked that item just got a notification that I dropped the price of the item and that they will get discounted shipping. So in terms of when to do your price drops, I would recommend doing them later in the day, uh, especially during the last posh party of the day. For me, I'm on the East Coast. That is at 10 p.m. That is going to differ for you based on what time zone you are in. But most people are active on the app during that time, sharing their things to parties, and they're going to be more likely to see your notification if you drop the price on something. So try to wait till later in the day to drop your prices. Now, since we are on the last day of this particular closet clear out, um, 
obviously like you need to start preparing for the next closet clear out and that is going to involve listing everything that you possibly can uh, getting every getting all of your inventory up and then you need to mainly be concerned with your pricing because you need to price your items a little high to the point to where you can lower your prices and still make a profit but you don't want to price them so obnoxiously high that it scares people away from making offers because that is another way that you're going to sell stuff most people make offers but if your item doesn't sell and you know you get likes on it and it gets to closet clear out you want to be able to drop that price so that your item can sell and you can still make a profit even though you have dropped the price. So try to add, you know, 30 to 40, even 50% to your price to leave room to drop the price on your item. Don't be scared to price it a little high. Don't be scared to add a few more dollars than what you think it is worth. Just don't go pricing it so high that it scares people away because people, if you want to sell something for $20 and you know it's worth $20 and then you price it at $40, you might not get as many offers on that item because people are not going to want to insult you by giving you a low offer and they're just going to go find a cheaper item. So if you have an item that's worth $20 and you want to sell it for $20, you know, try to price it $28, $30. That way, that leaves some room for price drops and sale negotiations, sale price negotiations. So, I hope that helps you in terms of, you know, your pricing strategy. Don't be afraid to price your items a little more than what you want. Um, and, you know, really research your items and figure out what they are selling for. If you go, let's see what we can do. If you go to, like let's go to this party and we will go to sort, let's go to filters. Let's go to availability. So I went to filter, then you can go to availability and then you can click on sold and it will show you what you have what has sold during this party and you can see what the item has sold for and you can do that on any screen if you go and you search say you have a j crew field jacket and you want to see how much these have sold for you click on search so these are all the ones that are available. So you're going to go back up to filter and then you're going to go here to availability and you're going to click sold. You're going to change that to sold. And so it will show you what these jackets are selling for. And you can look at, you know, most recent solds and see what to price your jacket at. And that's going to vary based on color, based on style, based on how old it is. But this will give you kind of an idea of where to price your item so that you can price it just a little bit higher than what you actually want for it and leave room for negotiation. So definitely start getting your stuff listed for the next closet clear out. There's really no way to tell when the next one will be. Uh, they are often done on holiday weekends. This was not a holiday weekend, so I'm not sure. Um, but Poshmark sets them, and just keep an eye out. Um, but try and get all of your stuff listed so that you can drop prices for the next closet clear out, and hopefully that will help you make some sales. Um, if you like this video, I do hope that you will give me a thumbs up for it. And if you have any questions that I can help you with, please leave them down in the comments below. If you are new, I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel and I welcome you. And thanks for watching this video, guys. I will catch you in the next one.